Hi everybody, welcome back. I'm Sandra, mom. I'm Ben, son. Uh, it's been a few weeks. Uh, today we're going to talk about money struggles uh, and the patterns uh, over the last three months with Ben and uh, we're going to talk about the cycle and uh, the triggers and how we're going to get out of it. Yeah. That about wraps it up. So we had a really good chat beforehand. So uh, we wrote some notes. So first of all, I'm going to explain the pattern of what's been happening. And it's been what, like the last three months. Yeah. We're in month three of a similar pattern that's been happening with money. And the pattern is uh, uh, owing money to dealers, yeah. um, grabbing more, getting more debt, paying off the debt, and so on and so forth. So it's been going on for a few months. So we're in month yeah. three. So well, the reason we're talking about it too is so that maybe next month we could come up with a solution so that we get out of this uh, pattern and vortex of financial crazy. So um, what we were talking about is uh, getting out of the cycle and what needs to be done. And we were saying that uh, not adding to the debt. Yeah. Trying to like avoid the same things that you've been doing because if you're doing the same things over and over, you can't get a different outcome. You have to change what you're doing. So like, I'm trying to find a way to just say no and yeah, like not get in the debt. Like, because I'm always yep. paying it off, and then when I pay it off, I'll have money, and then I'll grab, and then when I run out of money, I'll get a spot, and then I'm just in debt again, and and it goes on and on, and goes so. On and on. So we, we started to talk about the, the triggers, like what are yeah. the triggers, right, to avoid the cycle. So I found boredom was a big trigger, like when COVID first started up, that's kind of what got me back into the heavy stuff because it was, it was available and the, access, the accessibility of it is like if it's readily accessible, that's also a huge trigger. Like if, say, yeah. my dealer or something's calling me, yo, I have everything what do you want like i'm like fuck man you yeah know? and i don't know you could like this what i was just gonna say so working through the boredom what can yeah. we do about boredom uh i've just random stuff like i try to go for walks regularly yeah i go for a couple walks a day try to keep my mind off that and uh, uh sometimes i'll play video games maybe with a roommate that i have you know, yeah. but you can't rely on other people, so that's why I go for walks. Um, skateboarding, I haven't done that in a little while, but I've been trying to just brainstorm ideas, anything. Like, yeah. whatever suits the need, you know, like, yeah. you can do, you can even cook, you know, like, I cook, Good. I try, I don't eat a lot, but when I do eat, I try to, like, I try to force myself to eat at least twice a day. I usually eat once or twice, sometimes three if I'm lucky. Yeah. You know, so... Another trigger. Uh, another trigger is having money. Because when I have the money, I'm like, yo, I can go do this. I can go do that. And I can go to, you know, I can do whatever I want. But really, you can't really do whatever you want. Because then you're just going to run out of money. and The and cycle. going to be in debt because you're going to want, you know, in the cycle. And So, a solution for the money is... Just like budget, like you wanna, I I buy my groceries first thing when I get my money. Yeah. That's the very first thing I do is I get food. Rent. And rent. Rent is technically the first first one that I pull aside, but then the food definitely. Yeah. And like you know, I smoke cigarettes, so I put cigarettes. But like you know, like you gotta budget. You, everybody's budget's different, but you gotta put those necessities first and. Yeah. Cause sometimes if you forget to buy food, but then you're like, I'm gonna buy drugs, then you're kind of fucked. And like, yeah. there's there is like food banks, but you can't rely yeah. on those, you know? Cause yeah, it's crazy. You know? Another trigger is people. So we're trying to come up with a solution with the people. Like some people come up to me and offer me stuff, and they're like, Yo, do you want to go party? And I'm like, <laughs> Fuck! Like, I've said yes. I'm not gonna say I don't say yes. Like, I'll be hypocritical, but. I try to say no, you know what I mean, and it's 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 you just gotta know. Stay when, away. Yeah, you gotta know who the people are, and just even if you have to make something up, you're like I'm busy. Yeah, give a you reason. You know, like give them a reason that you don't want to go, or something. Say you're broke or something. Or like, yeah. 
you gotta buy groceries. Say you gotta buy groceries, cause like everybody has to buy groceries eventually. Yeah. You know. And the big trigger is availability. You were saying when we were talking yeah. about availability, you said that's a tough one. Yeah, when it's available and the dealer is calling you, it's so hard to say no to the dealer itself. It's easy to yeah. say it to like your loved ones. Oh, I'll just say no. But when they call, it's like you almost feel obligated to grab. Because you've been with them, not with them, but even like grabbing off them for so long, it's kind of like normal almost, or it's like a routine. Like fuck, it's like my routine to grab, bro. I got money, I'm gonna fucking use this much for this, and blah blah blah. Like I don't know. Yeah, and I noticed you dropping the f bomb a few times. Sorry, Uh, uh, I'm trying not to say anything, but that's the mom in me. Um, but it's all good, buddy. And, you know, we're having this conversation because it, this is the struggle. And we did talk about the triggers, the boredom, having money, the people, the availability. And, you know, I said to Ben, the thing is, why can't you just say I'm not using? And that is the big one. Yeah, like, I don't know. Like, I can't, it's hard to say that to a dealer, you know, like. So, I don't know exactly why. It's kind of hard to explain why, but it's like, it's just one of those things you would never really say to the dealer. You know? I'm not, yeah. like, because not all of them will, like, understand the dealer. If anything, they'll get pissed at you. Some of them, you know what I mean? So. So, you know, the, you know, Ben has his perspective and he's being real about what he's struggling with and the triggers and everything. And I'm also being real in that. For me, hearing what Ben says, it's like that door is still open. He still has the key to the door. And, um, you know, he's being honest. And, you know, in conclusion, uh, for me, my boundaries get tighter and tighter. And um, Ben is trying to get through this month. And there's money still owing. And he's trying to pay that off. Uh, but I know that the boundaries will get tighter all around and it will be tough, Ben. And, uh, you know, no, yeah. uh, the bottom line is that you need to decide for yourself. And this is a, a, another thing is that I've learned that I can't tell Ben what to do. We could have these discussions, which is great because then, you know, you're clear right now and we're able to sit down and go through what the triggers are and stuff. But we're also being real that that door is still open for Ben. And, um, number one, it scares me because it's always that one last time could be the one last time. And, uh, you know, I know Ben, you're tired of it, but it's up to you. Right. So I don't even know. Is there anything else you want to add to that, Ben? Like, because there are, you're not alone. You're not the only person going through this. Yeah, Um, no, I know. Um, I don't know. All I know is that I'm trying to pay my debts off. So I don't know. That's all I know right now. That's all I'm focusing on is it's yeah. getting clear and not getting another debt. Yeah. Like and that too much debt. I've been in debt almost constantly. Yeah. Because once I pay it off, I will run out of money within the next couple of days of paying it off, and then I'll just get more debt again and. It's almost like I've not got out of debt, like, ever, you know. Yeah, and, you know, as the loved one watching, I'm continuing my recovery, continuing with my boundaries. Ben, I've always been straight with him. Um, You know, he's pretty straight with me. I know that, you know, there's lies when when there's addiction, and we're just being real, and um, we're just doing the best we can, and we're here to educate Remove the stigma so that people who have a substance use disorder can talk about it and actually get help. Um, Right now, um, we're harm reduction, methadone, um, and just day by day, right? So that's what we're dealing with now, and the money struggle is real. And in the end, Ben makes his choices. I can't tell him what to do, um, you know. You know, you have to be ready. I have to be ready for it. You know, I'm trying. I'm trying to do the best I can. You know, like I can't just 
snap my fingers and all my problems are solved or else they would have been solved years ago you know what I mean I gotta work through it step by step and that's that's the hard part because yeah. you don't want to start taking steps backwards you yeah. know what I mean I think uh, the big one is just working through that cycle so we're not in it again and yeah. again because I said to Ben I don't want to two years from now be in the same place because I won't be there uh, you know so Anyway, that's our story. Those are our struggles. And uh, remember. There is breath. There is hope. There is hope. Absolutely. Be safe. Be smart. Yeah. Take care, everybody. Nice. Take care.